Hello, I'm Des Redding. I am from Texas in the United States of America, and today I'm at the Poimina Reserve playing in the Australian Disc Golf Open. It's one of the best courses that I've played for scenery. Every shot and every hole you get to get up to a hillside, and the payoffs are not only the holes that you get to play, but the beauty of the surrounding of the Tassie scenery. I won the women's division and we also had three other women that actually played, uh, all mothers, and so it's really great to see all the mothers out uh, being able to compete in the tournament. And now we're all preparing for a two o'clock monster final with the top four pro men. My name is Jay Redding and I'm a four-time doubles world champion and a four-time putting world champion. And I'm here in Hobart at Poemina Reserve for the 2011 Australian Disc Golf Championship. We're playing with the Monster 9. In disc golf, we take that flying circular object and we count how many throws that it takes us to hold out or to land that disc into the basket. So every shot that you make is one stroke. Disc golf's a great, fun sport. Get fit doing something that is fun and exciting. There's just nothing more that I like to do than to get out in the park and have a throw and just, you know, have a laugh with the guys and girls. The history of disc golf and of the Frisbee come from humble beginnings. The Frisbee Pie Company out of Bridgeport, Connecticut in the 1930s made pies that came in very durable tins. It didn't take too long before the college kids learned to eat the pie, flip it upside down, fly the lid. In the early 50s, a gentleman by the name of Fred Morrison invented what we consider the first plastic frisbee. Him and his wife would toss around a coffee can lid and he decided to mold this into a piece of plastic that he called the Pluto Platter and that became the very first Frisbee. Whammo, the toy company out of California, purchased the rights and trademarked the name Frisbee in 1957. In 1964, Whammo created the very first pro model of the Frisbee. And soon, disc golf was born when Ed Hedrick decided to create a pole hole or a target entrapment. Thousands of people learned to play the new game of disc golf. It wasn't until 1983, though, when a gentleman by the name of Dave Dunapace changed the game of disc golf forever. He patented and created the modern triangular beveled edge rim disc. Instead of the frisbee where the weight was distributed evenly throughout the entire disc, in the beveled edge triangular rim, all of the weight is in the rim of the disc. Therefore, it spins faster, flies farther, easier to throw, and is much more accurate. Where folks could throw a frisbee 100 meters, 300 feet, the world record for the triangular beveled edge rim disc is 249 meters, 820 feet. Well, this is what we call a signature hole. So it's a 200 meter shot. A signature hole is an example of what, what, what makes the course famous, and this is it. It's got a long tunnel shot. The good arms can get the distance, but it has to be really sharp stuff. Coming left or right gives them a quick penalty into the bush. That's that concept of risk and reward that makes this so great. Hi, I'm Jussi Meresma. I'm from Finland. This is uh, my so far the longest trip I ever have made for the disc club. I'm 16,000 kilometers away and I'm having a good time. I like that it's a family oriented sport and they, the, from the youngest to the eldest can come out and play. It's fun and it gets you really, really fit. Disc golf is, is wonderful. It's brought a lot to our family. My younger son plays, my husband plays, and it's just a wonderful thing for a family to do together. Alone from the tournament, we've also had the opportunity to work with the students and also the teachers. And so we spent a week training trainers and also touching over 500 students to tell them about a lifetime sport of disc golf and the opportunities to play in Poimina Reserve. It's been tremendous. Uh, in the end, uh, everywhere we travel around in the world, kids are kids and they absolutely love new activities and games, but disc golf especially tends to really touch them because it's an individual sport that anybody can uh, be really good at, and as soon as they learn how to, a few techniques of throwing the disc, they start to feel the magic of what it is to throw a frisbee through the air. We love disc golf! Yeah!
What's just happened here is quite important. If Juicy makes this next putt, it's a tied game going into the last two holes. We're tied for first place with Juicy and Jay. That was a great shot. Jay's just thrown out of bounds, landed on the road. He's dropped his stroke. All UC has to do now is play straight up the center, straight thousand bucks. Second place, Ben's open. Jay ready? Hats off to UC, great battle. He's a good friend and a fierce competitor. So uh, the 2011 Australian Disc Golf Championship, men's open winner, UC!